Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video and today we have another episode of our Get Good series here for Rainbow Six Siege on the channel. I did see a comment a while back asking for Buck, so today we will be covering Buck. I will basically be going over kind of the do's and don'ts when playing as Buck and hopefully teach you guys how to get better. Now Buck is another one of those operators that is not extremely difficult to use and he's pretty straightforward in what his job is. However, in the right hands, Buck can be an extremely powerful operator that can just really open up a lot of opportunity for the attacking team. So one of the tips that I would give you guys right off the bat would kind of be a similar one that I did for Twitch, which would be practice recoil management in Terrace Hunt. As most of you guys already know, the C8 SFW Bucks automatic rifle has a whole lot of recoil. So one of the things that I would highly recommend is you to go in Terrace Hunt, and especially if you want to start maining Buck, practice your recoil management on the bots in Terrace Hunt, and just get a feel for where you want to aim to get those headshots. The gun does have a lot of vertical recoil, but it does have quite a bit of horizontal recoil at the same time, so it can be somewhat unpredictable. But once you just practice a little bit, you can get it down packed. And with the mention of recoil, that will kind of go into my second tip which would be to use the hollow sight on the C8 SFW. As we just talked about it has a tremendous amount of recoil which can be very unpredictable and then when you put on the ACOG sight it can be significantly more exaggerated making it a lot harder to hit your target. So I would say to use the hollow sight if you are having trouble getting those headshots or just controlling the recoil in general it won't be quite as exaggerated and once you get that down packed you can kind of move on to the ACOG sight and test it out from there. Another thing that I want to mention that I think that you guys should do when it comes to using Buck is try out the Cameras Marksman Rifle. There was an update a little while back buffing the cameras, making it a little bit stronger and reducing the recoil. So I definitely suggest you give it a try because this gun is an absolute beast. You don't quite have the issue when it comes to recoil when you use the cameras versus something like the C8 SFW. You can also put on the muzzle brake attachment which is pretty much meant for the Marksman Rifles and it will really reduce that recoil. The only trouble that you might have when using the cameras is it's not as good in close quarters. If you do have a good trigger finger you can drop people very quickly but it's still not ideal compared to something like a full auto weapon. However the nice thing when it comes to buck is you do have that skeleton key as an option for close quarters combat. Now my next two tips or things that I think you should do when playing as buck can really make or break somebody who is good with buck versus somebody who is average. Now the first of the two tips that I'm going to talk about is using vertical gameplay. This won't really work on every single map or objective, but it can work on a good majority of them in Siege. And by this, I mean any of the objectives that have either a wood ceiling or a wood floor that you can get either above or underneath. And using that skeleton key to make those murder holes and just blow out either the ceiling or the floor from your enemies. This gives them significantly less options when it comes to hiding in the objective if they're going to camp around and not roam. And just kind of really make them panic, allowing your team to apply even more pressure. A good example of what I mean by vertical gameplay would be when you're playing on the map consulate and the objective is in the archives. You can get above the enemies in the visa office and just blow out that whole ceiling making it very difficult for your enemies to hide as well as if you are paired up with a sledge you can completely open it up and give your team a much greater advantage of winning. You can also apply this tactic from below on maps like house when the objective is in the master bedroom. You can go from below, blow out the whole closet and really make it hard for the enemies to hide in there as well as just open up many of the main camping spots. I find that one of the best things that this tactic does is just make the enemy panic. When you have teammates shooting at them from the same level as them and just applying pressure regularly it can be stressful to the enemy and they get very panicky and then when you just either blow out the ceiling or the floor they just feel like they really have nowhere to go and you can force them to run towards a teammate and hopefully get that kill. Now the final little thing that I think you should do when it comes to playing as Buck is make sure you use those frag grenades from under the OBJ. This is similar to that vertical gameplay you can use this from above as well if you blow out the ceiling and just drop a grenade underneath but on many maps you can actually blow up a grenade from underneath the enemy without even opening the ceiling and take them out. Again this works really well on maps like house where you can get in the closet and just kind of chuck a grenade and kill the enemy as well as behind the bed. You do however have to be very cautious when doing this tactic. It can be tricky and you can kill yourself so you want to keep an eye out for that but you want to be able to cook the grenade and time it perfectly to throw it underneath the enemy and get the kill. 
Now I want to shift over and talk about some of the don'ts and things that you do not want to do when playing as Buck. Again, Buck is pretty straightforward, so there really aren't many, and it's kind of hard to screw up Buck. He is somewhat of a selfish operator in a way, and not really in a bad way, it's just that his gadget can really be used for himself and it's not vital to the team like Thermite or Habana where they heavily rely on him but he definitely can be a game changer so some of the things that I think you shouldn't do is do not use the stuns you might as well use the frag grenades when it comes to buck there are very very select situations where you want to use the stun grenades his main job is to be that fragging operator and use those frag grenades to his advantage. Now my next don't is somewhat of an obvious one and this should go across the board with any operator that has frag grenades. If you are playing on hostage, whatever you do, do not frag the hostage. It's just a really dumb way to lose a round and you should just really be aware of what game mode you're playing and where you're throwing that grenade. But with all of that said, that will pretty much wrap up my tips and tricks for Buck and how to get good with him. Again, he is more of a straightforward operator and it's really hard to do wrong when it comes to playing as Buck, but you can really make the difference between a good and an average buck by using that vertical gameplay as well as fragging from under or above the objective. Just to kind of recap on my do's and don'ts, we have used that vertical gameplay, use the hollow sight, use the cameras, and then frag from under the OBJ. Now the two main don'ts is just don't really use the stun grenades, Buck's job is kind of to use those frags, and then don't frag the hostage. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did please make sure to hit that like button, I greatly appreciate the support. Also feel free to leave a comment down below if there are any other operators that you would like to see in this series, and if you are new do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button, and as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.